Hello everyone and welcome to the Anaka Rice Lard Challenge. We're here today as we try not to discuss what Kulse would do with alcohol and a bit of lard with current era Ara Anaka Rice. We're desperately trying to avoid that. Regardless of all the times I'm mentioning it, we are definitely, definitely staying away from this. And I don't know why the tablet just won't load up the first time I do it. There we go. Hello, Alvatar. I'm just checking the volume so you may hear me twice. There we go. I'm just going to zoom that down, mute that fucker. Here we are. We've just arrived on the planet of... Is it Singtao? Uh, or the Singtao sister? I, yeah, yeah, Singtao. We're in Singtao. Hey, Kiro, again. Hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It doesn't... Uh, Kulsh. How's everyone doing? Yeah, hey, oh, Kulsh. How are you doing? Uh, so, we're back here. Unfortunately, uh, I would have loved to have streamed the uh, the single player, all frothy and good to go. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, no, no, man. Oh, why? Why? It's it's already, it's already taken. I know it's dive. <sighs> I've let myself in for this, haven't I? I mean, hell, I did call it the Annika Rice Lard Challenge. Uh, so, that's not surprising. Anyway, um... Yeah, I would have loved to have done Vox, Ma uh, Vo uh, Vox Machina. Yeah, Vox Machina. Uh, as the... Because, no, not the Critical Role shit, by the way. I hate that fucking terrible stuff. It goes live at 8pm tonight. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved to have, have streamed the single player of that. Maybe next next Thursday. Sing Tower is a beer. Well, uh, it's also a system in Battletech, so... Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, we're on the edge of Capellan Space. Uh, we're going to go out for Clean Out, you mercs. Uh, apparently this one's another Fed Sun contract. We can squeak a three salvage uh, from this one. Um, I'm going to go in my Squeenix Hawk with the two talents and the Gwiffin. So we've got triple, triple PPC, mate. Yeah, we're going to do that. Just going to get in for this battle. You can't spell this morning. Uh, it's uh, T-H-I-S uh, space M-O-R-N-I-N-G. There you go. <laughs> Easy joke. Hi, Yabo. How you doing? Master of Physics, how you doing? Morning, 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 morning. 6 p.m. Right, 6 p.m. I'm, I'm interested in it because it's it for Vox back on the the campaign. It just fucking came out of nowhere, didn't it? It's uh, that's the, that's the good thing about it. It's nice, nice when a game that's you know not bad to begin with can surprise you. Oh no, Yabo, don't don't challenge Kulsh. You know he's notoriously bad for it. He he, he can't help but accept any challenge laid before him. You see, for everyone on YouTube, you see that this is the, it's like the people who are regular in the chat, the the degenerates. They're all, they're all sick and twisted creatures. Oh, uh, mass one four six. I can't spell any time course. So that's a uh, a n y t i m e space uh, capital C uh, for uh, course uh, u l s h. There you go, mass one five six. Hope that helps. Hope that helps. Uh, go on, uh, go on, bring a pair of dervishes and phoenix hawk with elite VTOLs as support. Oh, uh, if only I could, Namad, if only I could! <laughs> Avatar, Twitch is forcing me to use Microsoft Edge, otherwise it won't work properly on my computer. Ugh, I do apologise. I will uh, have to whip myself with the... Oh, it's a griffin, okay. You see the shape, you're not quite sure what it is at first. Now, it is against the Capellans, so there probably will be 52,000 reinforcement max all at the same time. A low-gravity night fight. Jump jet heat is reduced and range is increased. Death from above damage is, is also reduced. The effect is 0 0.15. Oh, so it can, it, oh, it can jump even. It can jump foider. Well, that's, that's quite a generous jump, <laughs> jump range. Woo! Fucking hell, that... that. I think it's got legs. Piece of cake. Acknowledge, Commander. Good for the uh, good for the Griffin because I'm pretty sure I've actually got um, Jumping. less <laughs> less uh, jump jets on this that should have. Who are the enemy? Sorry, I did see a symbol for a second. Uh, oh, I missed a few things. What's this? All of the BBC news readers, female, in, in order of which you would do them. Oh, that that's the challenge. You've tried to bang out a wank to Fiona Bruce. <laughs> you, you've tried. No he tried so hard. He got, got so Peter. far. But in the end, he couldn't bang a wank out.
Also, it's an easy one. I used to be partial to a bit of Natasha Kablinski. Oh my god. You fucking degenerates. Yobbo, you're getting the degenerate tag on the Discord. You know that, right? It's been a long time since a new degenerate has been has been awarded. Nope. The, oh, it's the fourth Tau Seti Rangers. Uh, are we out of range for us? No, 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 we can sense lock, sense lock. Sensor lock on target. And this is where I should have walked first. Uh oh. Yeah. Skipper. I, I mean, I don't 100 percent trust this. Is this is this it? Is it? There must be more, right? There must be more to this enemy lance. I'm on him. It's a fully armored mech. Commander. Commander. How you doing, Commander? <laughs> Which what is if Victoria Darvish could talk you to sleep? What the fuck? Before, before you go. <laughs> oh no. Alright, that's the that's the target, that's the Griffin. Or it's one of them anyway. Obama can hit harder than that. Commander. Commander. Well, we have a target, and we must focus it. Focus all the fire! Oh, for fuck's sake, the PPC always goes squiwy. It's for the lance of two mechs, this isn't too bad, because once a Phoenix Hawk starts to, obviously, get a bit opened up, it becomes less of an issue. Always aim for the head, of course. You never know when you get that sneaky headshot. Oh, but how's everyone's week been so far? Has it been good? Been all right? Oh, was a Vulcan now. Okay, now this this uh, this is all mediums. Something I can do. Uh, this is a bad engagement. What Vulcan model is it? Oh, it's a five T. So that's the one with all the mediums, isn't it? Yeah. I've got decent firepower, but yeah, I don't have. Heading out. Alright. Firing a full salvo. That one, we crit that MG. Most important that thing to crit. Good. Week's been alright, that's good. Been fair to middling, okay. That's good, good to hear, good to hear. Building FOBs on armor may have gotten a bit silly. <laughs> Full of news this week. Uh, Vlad Turjar needs his bollocks kicking in. Indeed, he did. Ready to rock. No arguments there. Stand now let's see how you handle this. Uh, Griffin's just absorbed. Sorry, uh, Griffin. Receiving you. Not the Griffin. On the move. Uh, Phoenix Hawk's just absorbing so much fucking Fire. impact at the moment. <sighs> I'm still hoping to um, pop the fucking arm off or something. Thoughts on the bladed talon, uh, bladed talon eagle. Oh, in in fucking Elden Ring. Oh, I hate it. I fucking hate it. Oh, it's, it's it's a hideous creature. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about with that one. Fuck. Oh, it's, um... Yeah, it's it's a brutal little bastard. This is the last one of six. I think everyone's been watching... Uh, been watching BBC News. What's that supposed to mean? Why, why is ITV News given a totally different opinion of uh, of the conflict in Ukraine? Is that, is that what you'd say, Master 156? It's good to go. Moving to position. I, you know, the the dogs in Elden Ring, Papa Sun, the, the thing that I can't kill at the moment, um, 
Papa Slump in the in Elden Ring is, you know, the War Master's shack. If you go there at night and you get attacked by that invader, cannot for the life of me, fucking deck him. He, he, the the skills he uses are ridiculous. I don't know what the trick is yet to beating him. There's always something like that. Oh, Halo from. Oh, you talk about female news readers. This fucking... Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. This Phoenix Hawk is just taking too much damage. It's spreading the damage really well. Granted, his arm is literally about to fall off. He's got one hit point left in his side torso, and most of his arm has gone on his, on his torsos, but... Move order received. Locking in all weapons. I, it still wasn't, um, still wasn't a hit on the important squishy bit. Ow, 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 fuck. Okay, yeah, now I gotta jump you out of that. Alright. I still jumped out to take a shot at the Phoenix Hawk, of course, I just don't want to get anywhere near the, the max. Uh... If I can get that side torso, it, it takes out the large laser. Got the left torso instead, it's not too bad I suppose. Ah good, he didn't get the other one up, that's fine. <laughs> I can't get much slower. War Master Shack <laughs> does he get put through a table by Cody? <laughs> that's <a>, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's, yeah, yeah. Fucking Shaq Fu, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize Len Lenin Timboy was the Ukrainian, was of Ukrainian parents. Sorry, is this, sorry, if we just like veered to it being a serious thing here? Firing full compliment on him. What are your orders, Skipper? Yeah, what are your orders, Skipper? You got it. Hey, BFG, how you doing? It's a fact. Okay, I, I had no idea. No. Well, I mean, it's interesting. Yeah. There we go. Yes, Commander. The Commander. Oh, okay. Well, on the one hand, it, it, it's interesting. Though, on the second, it, it's, it, on the other hand, it's like, well, I mean, unfortunately, he's been dead for a few years now, so unfortunately, it means very little uh, for him. There's not much he can do for the plight of the Ukrainian people. You know things and you share them. Sometimes they are things he should not know, yet he knows them and he shares them regardless. They refer to him as the overshare. All hail the overshare! Yeah, there goes the PPC. Ooh, into the distance. Never to be seen again. I leap! Ooh, I scuttle. Ah, oh, come on, just because I use the jump jets as well. Engaging target. Yeah, I need aim shots on that right torso, really. That's what Ready I need to be doing. Water. But I don't have I don't have enough to do another one. That's the wrong side torso. I don't need that side torso opening up. Ready for orders. That side torso can get to fuck. <laughs> Just share which TV presides like to get frothed at the bunghole. Why is it a bunghole? Ah, you see, now because she's in a griffin, she knows what side torso to aim for. Get to see Danny Sinclair. Is it what? Oh, Danny Cinder. Sorry. Does the fire thing count when I'm stood in water? I mean, I don't know if the mod actually takes that into account or not. What's up, Bob? Oh, we do have an aim shot. 
We can do it. Position confirmed. We want that side torso to fuck up. Well, I mean, that's great. We went internal on the side of the mech that we don't need to hit, but hey. Speaking of which, I forget, what, what, which one is it now with the, the shitty cartoons? Is it Hey Arnold or Hey Arthur? The one with the fucking aardvark kid. That's the really annoying intro. Well, apparently... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> LRM explosion. Um, apparently, that fucking thing ended. It, it, it finished. Hey Arnold. Yeah, it had an ending. It even showed them all grown up. I was just thinking, who gives a shit? Who fucking cares? The only ending I wanted to see for Hey Arnold was one where the other was like ended up in a fucking bus crash and burnt to death. I hated that cartoon. Nice to know. <clears throat> only nice to know because it's finished. Ah, internal damage. That shot went internal. Uh, shot went internal. Oh, really? Well, oh, thank, thanks, uh, uh, slippery Frank the fuckwit. Thanks for telling us that. No, there were some good ones. Bionic Bunny's adventures could be a bit nasty. What? You acquired the, the nickname Hey Arnold and Billy's owing to the sunburn you had in your head because head cause it's to inflate slightly. Good to go. No, 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 right, now, no, that's what I'm asking. Now, is Hey Arnold the one where he had the football-shaped head and he, and Helga was the, was the bully girl who fancied him? Because that had a, that had a finish a few, a couple of years back, where they wrapped up the story of that. Is it Hey Arthur is the one with the fucking, uh, that, that had the stupid aardvark boy? Because Hey Arnold was fine, right? I mean, it's, we're not going. We're, no, no one's going to have any complaints about Hey Arnold, right? Location confirmed. Arnold was the aardvark, was it? Okay. Well, fuck that show. Hey, it's a wonderful kind of day, and now fucking <clears throat> die, motherfucker! No! For fuck's sake! What bit did you just knock off him? Oh Christ! Here comes the Vulcan now. Oh shit! <laughs> Hardcore, get out of there! Crap. That hard. Uh, I mean, arguably the most important bits of the, of the mech are still on, i.e., the the PPC. Arthur ended earlier this year. Yeah, was it earlier this year? Roger that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stupid fucking phase technology. Engaging Wee. ATG. All weapons committed. Is that side source of Didn't that just go into it? Yeah, it just went into his into his rear. Yeah. Orders? I was going to say. Copy that. With all hey, panic level critical? Order. I don't know. No! No, I accidentally double clicked. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck a duck. Oh. Oh my god, it just headshot my fucking character. <laughs> it just headshot him. Oh no, what the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, <laughs> the armless griffin just, just headshot. Oh, this... On my way. 
You know, you know when, you know, like in games like Bloodborne and shit, where you can get tilted by by just the dumbest shit. Well, this is it right here, isn't it? Luckily, because it's my character, they can't aye, aye. die, so that's fine. He can't hit the fucking lag. Save scum. It could, you know, it could be, it could be, yeah, yeah. We we could be getting to a save scum attempt here. Darius training is paying off. Fucking hell. All weapons, go. <laughs> it's the one part, even in the modded stuff, the Enemy one part that, that never makes sense to me in this game you. is the bit where it like the AI will have a mech that's basically at the point of falling apart. And rather than doing the intelligent thing of having them eject or retreat, for instance, they will they'll do this. They just go like fucking st original Star Trek melee. Dun 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 dun. And it, you just amazing. scratch your fucking head. Like what the hell is it doing? Move order received. I'm gonna make some friends. <laughs> I know he's missing a side torso, but does that affect the accuracy of his attacks? Oh, really? A sidestep. He just, he just, he leans like it was armor three. Ready for orders. Uh, this is getting silly. So it's, it's just punch Targeting pass now. Physical attack. Da -da. Oh, he's gonna try and kill him now. It probably blow up the PPC or something. I oh, crit the PPC. It didn't blow it up. He crit it. Reporting critical hit. Commander. Uh, did you fucking get in this? You get stuck Engage. in? You can only dodge so many times, right? Hey, up. Affirmative. When in doubt, hit it. You never want to know what Kirk did to the corpses. <laughs> oh no. Honestly, what what is the point in cold shot in this game? Even a modded version, what is what and what is entirely the point? It got such a high evasion rating from one jump. Waiting for orders. So I think there's only really one thing to do. Attempted DFA, which missed. Reporting negative damage. Losing armor. Whoa. Uh, holy shit, this guy's the fucking Bruce Lee of mech martial arts. Holy shit. He, d he cannot be hit. He, he lives, he embodies the philosophy of be like water. You put it into a cup, it takes the shape of a cup, you know? Put it into a bowl, it takes the shape of a bowl. That's what, this is what fucking the Vulcan pilot is at this point. Bruce fucking Lee. <laughs> oh my god, okay, right, that, there's the safe scum right there. There's the safe scum. <laughs> yeah, I should hire them. Oh my god. <laughs> that fucking thing. Wow, okay. Uh they they chucked you a bin over the wall when you went to go what the fuck? Wait a minute, we took like a like one of the black bins, Coles or a blue bit, because I mean that that's some heft. You often wonder if Star Trek's original series had holodecks, what would Kirk's harem look like? No they didn't. No they didn't I know they didn't have holodecks. Um It's uh it's a next gen thing. The point of culture is the job is to play as salt and send it to the devs. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, man. I assume I, it should be the same enemies again, but then again, it's... Oh, th this version spawned a friendly. I think. Yeah, it did. It spawned some tanks. Goblin. We got a goblin, we got a javelin, a hetzer with LRMs and a fire starter. 
And it looks like they've got a support once this time. Uh, oh, the, the wonders never cease. That, that was some of the strangest shit I've ever seen. A scorpion with just medium lasers. Okay. <laughs> the first, the way that worked, the way this just like the large laser just pinged off at such a bizarre angle, like a sixty-two degree angle or something, just over there. I was like, I don't even think the emitter could aim in that direction. But like, this game, it fucking finds a way, doesn't it? I got this drizzling shit of a fucking aim in. Wait, wait. <laughs> It went all the way. What the fuck? How is he so... How was it... Just how does it work? How, how is their aim so terrible? Affirmative, Commander. How does that vehicle's... Um, how, how's that vehicle's like evasion stat go down when the shot didn't even get close? I mean, that one. Fuck the hillside, but his evasion goes down a pip. It doesn't make any sense. Of course, my guy gets lit up with LRMs aplenty because reasons. The chocolate chew. Yeah, it's... Good to go. Acknowledged. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Janeway's done. She would, wouldn't she? Jane Janeway was such a fucking horn dog. Here it comes. The number of times that they had Janeway fucking copping off with, with some alien bloke or whatever was was ridiculous. I wouldn't mind so much, but Kate Mulgrew, right? That, not not being unfair, but she wasn't a looker, was she? Let's face it, everybody. She was fine as the captain of a starship. You could buy that. You, you could go, you know what? Yeah, that's that's fine. You know, she 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 looks like the type who would who would be a career woman. She's not interested in trying to look pretty or anything. She's just, you know, she's trying to be a captain of a Federation starship that's in a really shit situation. I it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and then apparently. Apparently everybody, uh, every bloke's like, hmm. This Janeway you speak of, she is, <laughs> she's such a, such a sexual beast. I just remember, I remember, I remember the one, there was an episode of, of, of Voyager that I, I remember just being like, right, so. The premise in, in previous episodes was... Oh, I, I won't compromise anything for the crew. I, I uh, like my my main task is to get them home. Blah blah blah. This that and the other. Then we get to uh, there's a story where um they meet a, a benevolent alien species. They're friendly and they've got this tech. They've got this warp tech that can like literally take you to any point. Uh, in 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 space, ride. so so they they can just instantly jump to the alpha quadrant. If they know where the alpha quadrant, they they can go there. It doesn't bother them. So the bloke says, "Oh, I kind of fancy you." And and she she kind of likes him. And he says, "Look, I'll give you the tech, right? And you you your ship can go home, but you have to stay here and live with me." And she says, "No," she fucks everybody off. She fucks her entire crew off because she doesn't want to basically stay with this guy who she's not, like, not into. She's in a relationship with him in the fucking episode, as far as I remember. And water. and it's like, oh, no, I, I can't do that. Move water, I, used to, I remember just being like, what the fuck? Hey, Devin, how you doing? What is it? I'm by... by, 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 by. I wonder how much of a human trafficking problem is going. Uh, what's that? Oh, you've met her. Right. Uh, and by that extension, would every Star Trek episode have to be filmed exclusively in, in the holodeck because Kirk was conquers deep in, in an Orion girl or Klingon strafe the Enterprise? <laughs> well, we know why Scotty is always just sweating over the fucking power, power drawer on the ship. Uh, would you leave Tom, pa Tom Paris and George? It doesn't matter. Once he gets back to the Alpha Quadrant, it's, you know, job's done, right? It doesn't matter. Gets back to the Alpha Quadrant, links back up with Starfleet, gets a bit of a debrief. And here's the thing, right? If these aliens have got this tech, 
Well, you've just given the the star, uh, you know, Starfleet a massive head start in certain in certain avenues. Like now, now they don't have to worry about you know the Borg and shit because they can literally just teleport the fuck away from them. And Gene, we can still visit. That's the other crazy thing about it. Let's like, no, no, I'm I'm gonna have the entire crew go through another miserable fucking existence. Oh, the end. The end of Voyager was all all levels are fucking stupid. Orders. Yeah, would you leave Tom Paris? Is it? Um. Well, probably not. Although, was there ever a reason why he was never playing the character that he played in the previous episode of Next Generation? This comes from someone who has not seen enough uh, Star Trek anyway, but. There's bits I remember, and one of those bits I do remember was that he, he was an episode with Wesley where he uh, he, he was like a, a brash student at the academy or something. He basically got someone killed and then he ends up in prison. And then when they get Tom Paris, who's played by the same actor in the first episode of Star Trek, he's in a prison, but he's not playing that character. This didn't make any sense. Something involving cloning and time travel. I don't I don't remember if it was cloning, E.T. I, there was a time travel element, because I think there was like a future Janeway that turned up, and I think she's the one that gave the, the Borg armor tech for the outside of the ship or something, so they could go... So they could safely go through the stupid um, Borg Nexus shit. If I remember correctly. Well, you always get nostalgic for Babylon 5. It's Babylon 5. It is the superior sci-fi show. I mean, I'd love for Warner Brothers to actually invest the cash into doing a version of... a re-release of uh, B5, uh, where... Uh, they just update all of the... You know, all the graphics for the ships and stuff? That'd be really cool. Like a special edition, you know? I don't know what you are, but you are worrying me. I'm going to jump back here. And I'm going to use Skenter Lock and find out what you are. Oh good, a trebuchet. Fuck, that's not, that's not good at all. That's it, you just stand in the spore cloud, you stupid AI. Originally, it was planned to be the same character, then they decided that said character was too far beyond redemption. Then, when they were casting the part for the new character, they said they were looking for a Robert Duncan McNeil-like performer. And they just ended up with Robert fucking Duncan McNeil. Right. Okay. Really? No shit? The original graphics for B5 were done on an Amiga. Well, fuck me. It was really nice. Confirmed. This PPC shit's getting out of hand. What is it with this this lake over here that PPCs just get attracted to? It's like something out of fucking controls. Like there's a, a AWE oh, over there that's drawing all the land. power. New space of Bombay would be great. I don't think you could do a new Babylon Five. I can't help but feel that they'd screw it up. Because you're not going to get that, that same cast of, of actors together again. Because they just had really good chemistry. They were all fun. And if they were going to redo it, you have to have J. Michael Straczynski, right? He's got to be writing it. Because it definitely isn't going to feel like the proper... B5 type stuff without him. Hooray, we killed the tank. We downed one enemy. Yay, the trebuchet is focusing on the fire starter. Which is fine because I'm going to have all my guys focus on the trebuchet because, yeah, f fuck that, Mac. Engaging jump jets. 
That was a griffin. Oh, this is a griffin from the League of Shadows. Oh, it's a fully intact tribute. Oh, this is very bad. It, could, it has a lot of firepower. It's direct and very punishing. Did he just sense the lock in? Yeah, he did. Oh no, the enemy Phoenix Hawk decided to jump in and take a shot. Looks like they're going for the javelin instead. This is fine, this is fine. Receiving you. Mention it to Valky, give me the full rundown of the new B5. Nah, you're alright. Oh, uh, Andre Katsulas. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, that's the other problem, isn't it? With B5. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the original, sort of like some of the original. I'll say a lot, like they're all fucking dead. A few of the original cast are dead, which doesn't help. Sort of crimps a little bit of uh, the options, doesn't it, for the for the casting? Let's bring such and such back. Ah, he's been dead for about ten years. Um, what about uh, such and such? Yeah, they died. No, don't tell me such and such is dead. Yeah, they're gone as well. Oh, fuck. Good to go. Oh, this is highly irregular. Oh, it's unfortunate. Position confirmed. You should return momentarily. You've got to run around to your cousins and lock her house. Ah! <laughs> Surprise, spider. Barely hit command. Confirmed. I'm rolling. Yeah, I'm rolling. Yeah, I'm rocking. Yeah, I'm rolling. Engaging target. Well, we opened him up, and that's the best we can hope for. Yeah, ow. It's like a bulldog or something, probably. Well, at least the AI friendlies are focusing the damaged enemy, which is good. That's what we want. And they're focused the damaged. Uh... Oh, okay. I thought the goblin was going down there from the other one. Mira Furlan, Andre Katzlis, Jerry Doyle, all gone, and many of us, including bad guys, are going. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. That's why I don't. I don't really think you could redo B5. I think the best you could do would be basically a, 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 a like just like an update uh, visually, you know. Oh, is this gonna machine gun my spine now. Uh, and then blew me up. Fucking what the hell? <laughs> Twice now, my character has just fucking popped her clogs. On on this mission, what the fuck? This this thing is cursed. This is this is mental. I copy. Oh yeah, you can't have great villains like Besta and yeah, it's. In it it wouldn't feel the same. It really wouldn't be the same show at all. It'd be a completely different show. Leave my Hetzer with LRMs alone. Waiting for I mean, it's not mine, but, you know, leave it alone. That moment your light cruiser blows up because of flash fires. Oh, in the Ultimate Admiral, yeah. They, they look impressive, though, the flash fire. This mission's cursed for UCR. The Capellan AI seems too good and you seem to be nerfed. I, I don't know what's going on. It's really weird. This isn't a particularly high difficulty mission, but for whatever reason, I just, I'd like, uh, nearly an hour of the stream is just me trying to win this mission. Or even, or even just, I, you know what, I don't mind taking a loss of a, of a unit or something, but, or, or heavy damage, because there's potentially good salvage here in these medium mechs. But I'm, I'm just getting fucking railed. 
all of my shots are just going really badly. Do we do we restart again? Do we retry it again? Let's see what the random number generator provides this time. <laughs> this is probably used of the Capellan Spear. I the one thing I've noticed with the AI in this game when it comes to the Capellans is they do seem to have there's there seems to be like a weighted average toward them. Most of the time their missions will have ridiculous number of reinforcements. If you take a contract for them, it's usually never what it says it's going to be. I don't know if that's just a weird perception that I've created because you know, just you know weird woo logic about it, but it feels like that. Confirmed. Doesn't help you got friendly AI that um like that that fire starter who is literally just hopping and then using sensor lock and never once uses a weapon. Commander. Um parts for a new mech I mean it's that there's a good a good thing to bring up. Um If it appeared in the shop, I have I'm like one off a really decent Shadow Hawk. Targeting for an alpha strike. Uh, there's a, the 2K and the 2H model. I, I need one part each of, which would give me shadow hawks. Um, and a gladiator, but never see gladiators in the store. Yep. I know they I'm exist. There. Bad news about B5, the CW has it, so it's going to be a teen drama. Ooh, that would be horrible. All weapons right, so at this point the most effective unit from the AI has been this Hetzer with LRM fire. Once that dies, it's uh, it's going to be a big drop off in damage. Yeah, the goblin tries his best, bless his heart. Oh, Ralph Power for his gladiators and marshals. <laughs> Yeah, the problem I've now got is that I've got a lance that is primarily focused on being able to do damage at range to targets that aren't moving around too much. And hoping that PPCs obviously hit, that's another big thing. It's nice when a PPC can actually hit the the thing you're aiming at. Yes, commander. Moving to position. Aye, aye. But yeah, too often in this, uh, they they just effing miss. You're going for a few uh, for a few of each. All oh, right. Yeah, I've got some cash this month. I don't know if I, I don't know if I've really got the the cash to blow on. Of the of not cash, the, just the space to blow on some fucking metal minis. I I was close to buying a the box set for Aeronautica Imperialis, and I uh, was thinking like I I just like the models. I would never play the game. No, but that's the thing, Devin. They don't. PPCs don't. It just seems to be, again, another quirk of the game. Uh, Kiro pointed this out a while ago that generally, if you fire a PPC on its own, it's got high. The, the actual accuracy seems to be true to what it says. If it's 65%, it's actually 65%. But if it seems to be fired in conjunction with another weapon, uh, it, it, just, it just misses. 
more often than not, and it seems to give priority for the other weapons to hit. Uh, what was the names of that site that got the plastic models from? Uh, Games Law. Uh, ETG. Oh, the s oh, singles. Well, that would be real par for Europe, is where you can get the metal singles. It's the rocks that earthed. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it just seems to be one of the weird quirks. Buy a Tau Manta to paint rocket. Varak will love you for eternity. Yeah, probably not. Here we go. But yeah, I like the look of the of the models and stuff. But I've got so many, I've got so many Marvel Crisis Protocol models that I've I'm painting. I'm getting through them. Uh, I've, I've basically finished Juggernaut last night. I was up until four in the morning painting that one. I think I've got like nine or nine or ten of them finished so far, but it's a tiny fraction because I've got nearly all of the Crisis Protocol models, barring I think Rocket and Group because I'm not fan of those characters. Oh, I don't have Drax the Destroyer either, or um, Ronan the Accuser. I'm just not a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I like the films, don't get me wrong, but the actual characters and comment I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, no worries, ETG. Oh, that's a good point, yeah, but I should probably should order at least one Marshal. What was it, Marshal and the Gladiator? I should probably order one each of them because, um, yeah, the molds are going to get spun out eventually, aren't they? And then if you want one of those, you have to order from Iron Wind Metals, and that's a that's a whole of a kettle of fish. Oh, will the goblin get a hit? Nope. Of course not. It's because he keeps driving around in the puddle of piss. That, uh, that is the mold over there. The spores. And it got blown up. <laughs> Waiting for orders. And now this Griffin has to die before he punches one of my guys to death because Firing help, we know what that was like last time, right? There we go. Hostile eliminated. Ready for orders. Oh god, here we go again. 33% extra pie. That's a that's a great amount of extra pie to have. I got you. Well, I mean, at least he hit, right? Oh my god, is the fire star actually going to do something? It's going to attack. Way! Oh, it's an actual attack. Holy shit! Something got close enough for, for the AI to. Do oh my god, that's a hetzer. Oh, that's an AC20. We got Hetzer, Bulldog. Oh, Javelin's taking arm damage, I think. Pie! Yep. Meat and potato. I haven't had a meat and potato pie for a while now. Did that go internal? No, it didn't. I thought I saw an orange number for a second. Yes, Commander. Oh, okay. It's in such a position. Oh, there we go. Huh. Engaging jump jet. I have to jump there to hit with the PPC. <laughs> I say hit with the PPC. Ah, <laughs> ha I'm actually amazed I hit it all. Though. 
And then the <laughs> and the fight started like for one turn, just one glorious turn. Went out okay. to went out to shoot, and then he jumped back into the tree line. Okay, right, so it's destroyed. Obviously, the problem with spiders is you can't make the pilot eject because spiders don't have an ejection system. Confirm. Affirmative. Minced beef and potato. Oh, sounds oh, it's making me more hungry. All weapons. Go. Interesting choice of target, considering two talents just shot him up and he goes for the fire starter, but I'm not complaining. Oh. Oh, his leg got blown off. That's not good. Hetzer did the worst thing an LRM vehicle should do, which is get close and fire its LRMs. <clears throat> oh, at least the Hetzer's driving away. That's good. Oh, well, yeah, the, the pilot should shut the thing down because it, it's let's it's three hit points off the so other side's also being destroyed, and it's seventeen health off losing. Receiving you. Uh, losing the other, uh, well, losing the engine entirely. Its left torso is now destroyed. Its engine's destroyed. There we go. Finally dead. So I'm just going to be in a situation where my main pilot, at least they can't die, is now just in a really fucked up state, and the Phoenix Hawk is, well, it's realistically the Phoenix Hawk should be written off because it's, uh, yeah. It got destroyed. The engine got destroyed. It, it's the point of basically buying the new mech at this point, but hell, I'm going to have to fix it up. Here we go. Wow, the PPC hit on the rear of a Hetzer and didn't destroy it. <laughs> okay. You got it. Firing full complement there we go. On enemy. That's the most dangerous of the vehicles destroyed. One more for the trash heap. Steak, onion, and mushroom pie. Uh, yeah, not my favourite. Uh, meat, meat and potato, <coughs> quite nice. Um, chicken pie is quite nice, you know, when they got a bit of gravy in. Uh, but obviously, also like, you know, nice fruit pies, apple pies, cherry pies. Those kind of pies are nice. Oh, okay, some meat, some meat pies are nice. What's this? Today was a, a Thai hot sausage roll. Oh, that's sort of nice. You don't really ask the local baker could uh, could uh, run by Sweeney Todd for like how uh, the pies are damn tasty. <laughs> yeah, there's no local bakers near me. So, but yeah, you bring a good point. I'd, I'd actually really like to be able to, uh, you know, just be able to march down to the bakery and pick up some uh, freshly made pies or whatever every now and then. That would be nice. Oh shit, it's a Von Luckner. Wow. That's, uh, that's actually quite a big tank. Two SRM six AC twenty MG SRM four Flamer LRM ten. It, it's it's a it's a fairly well equipped uh, piece of military kit. Firing. And uh, yeah, armor wise, is not fucking about. It's like seventy odd ton, I think. I copy. Yeah, you have to go to the old town. Yeah, that's the problem. Isn't it? It's quite it's quite a march for a pie. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, Von Lutner. That, this this is going to be an interesting bit because uh, wherever its shot is going to go is going to fucking hurt. I also feel bad for the javelin because it just <laughs> I don't think it's actually been able to take a shot the last couple of rounds. Oh, I'm going to get abandoned, aren't I? All of the yeah, all the all the Devin AI are moving away. Oh fuck! Someone someone is going to get ruined. This Von Luckner. Oh no, he's backing up. Ow! Oh, he still shot me with the AC20 though. There goes a weapon. I was kind of hoping he was going to be out of range. Ready for orders. Oof.
Waiting for orders. Why? Come on. Lifting I need direct off. line of sight just to bring at least the biggest gun she's got. Yeah, yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse only with it only hitting an arm, but... Uh, Be that's it with tanks isn't it you, you just gotta you gotta sort of peel them open and you gotta tin open the fuckers on oh weapon. come on why why did it was such a high percentage Wait chance and the I, that wasn't even an aim shot it was literally just the ppc just decided to go wyang and hit the fucking wall Fire. Ah, there we go. The the, uh, the underwater bulldog there. If I get in range, I'd stomp on the bottle because I'd do more damage stepping on it. The Baker Hugo's you known since a little kid because he used to do pie soppers. Oh god! Oh, 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 god, he killed him as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Is he dead? I think Hardcore's dead. Yep, yeah, dead. Four or four injuries. Fuck me! Oh, for god's sakes. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. This, this one's cursed. Let's just roll. Let's just re-roll that. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, my full hour of the stream has just basically been a nothing. Yeah, not my day. No, definitely not my day. Hey, Riker Rose, how you doing? Oof. Just. Wow, that mission, that mission, that combination of, of parameters with, with these mechs, it's just. Yeah, just a, a horrendous combination. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take the financial investment here. I might just have to pick up this Shadowhawk. Yeah, I'll swap out one of the Talons. At least, at least it puts me up to another medium, you know? Hold on, that wasn't there before. <laughs> okay, it's, I think it's regenerated part of the store for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, I have two, two of a hunchback 4G. Yeah, uh, that seems like a solid investment, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. New equipment available. We'll have it warmed up ASAP. Oh, nice, nice, uh, Devin. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the promo vid. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. Uh, right, we'll put the mongoose into storage at this point. It's not really needed anymore. It's just Pokemac at this point. Uh, other contracts were here that may not be punishingly horrible. Let's clean out the merch. Certainly wasn't one. Settling a grudge. That's another battle. That's a one skull uh, battle. Okay. Just gotta wait the two days to get the punchy ready. The there we go. Let's try this one, I guess. It's against pirates, so he's hoping for something a bit more doable. There you go, hardcore. You're, <coughs> you're now, uh, you're now our front man. Oh, was there a bot? <laughs> nice, nice. Nice kill from. Well, let's hope that this one runs, uh, or goes a bit better. 
Bloody hell. It's, uh, yeah, a bit depressing, really. Yeah, the first time chat thing makes it easier to spot. I think that's why they added that function. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Find a pirate lance and destroy it. Demonstrate that we are not without military resources on Sing Tau, which is impressive for Federated Sons to show they have military resources on Sing Tau because it's a Lao world. Now, let's go. What would you want? On your team more a Talon or a Koshe? Probably the Talon, just because I like the look of it more. Command interface initiated. Oh no, enemy reinforcements. That would be a shock in this one, in this game. Even the mod can't stop the reinforcement bullshit. Position confirmed. So at the top of this hill. Uh, I need to choose where I want to engage. First thing we need to do is make contact. Okay, enemy vehicle. Consider it done. Pilot's new skill check. Jumping into rough terrain. Ah, it doesn't matter in this game. Bonk. Terry Woken, only during Eurovision. Oh, that's just Skipper. a scrim. What is it? You were busy alt tabbed out to try and find an 80s or 90s TV presenter that you could deprey for Eurovision. <laughs> Russian tycoons put a million dollar bounty on Putin's head. Really? That's gotta be bullshit. That that one can't be true. I mean, it's even if you're just like you're not gonna fucking risk that, are you? I mean, the man is in control of a fair number of nuclear weapons. I think the last thing he wanted to do is if some fucker do a axe wielding maniac to come after him. Ready for orders. Gale Porter, not since she went all Sinead O'Connor. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Roger that. Full speed. Well, I was surprised about was to find out that uh, Connie Hook was married to Charlie Brooker. Because that that was that was a pairing I I never thought would would be a thing. Because you know Charlie Brooker and and his kind of acerbic wit and um, very stark and bleak outlook on things, and then Connie Hawk, who's a fucking presenter for uh, Blue Peter, did not see that as a combination. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Oh no, really? Hostile reinforcements? You don't fucking say. Oh, it's a Hoodies. Oh yeah, and the man is right. It was meant to be a challenge call. Yeah. All weapons, go. It's a difficult thing to give the command to launch nukes if someone puts something against the wall in the hallway and shoots him dead. Don't get me wrong, I'm not dismissing what you're saying. But as was once said, uh, the enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hat. Orders. I mean, that's how Tigger works, the filthy disabless bastard. Roger that. Meh. <laughs> Mary Berry, oh no, Mary Berry's got to be off limits for this, right? She's mostly gin at this point. Ready 
Ops good to go. No problem. No problem. Yeah, depot fire risk. Yeah, it's, you don't, don't want to. You don't want to risk like a bunk up with Mary Berry because like because she she may just she may just like ignite and that's that's not a good thing. Then you're dealing with like a Roman candle situation there. Yeah, but she's not a preservative, Cole. She's fucking more of a firebomb waiting to go off. It's too big a risk. It's like, get out of there, man. Get out now. Damage minimal. Confirmed. It's like, they're in the house with you. Get out, man. Here we go. I mean, yay for PPC, miss, go boom. PPC miss, go boom. Kind of jump ranger. Oh wow. Engaging jump jets. Disengage. <laughs> Re-engage right next to this prowler. All weapons committed. And give it everything you got. Uh, Prowler and SRM Scorpion. Okay. Oh shit, wait a minute, SRM Scorpion. Is that like the ridiculous one? Oh, two SRM6s. That's a javelin in a... That's a javelin that's equivalent of firepower there in a tank. That's... that's nasty. Probably better armor than a javelin as well. Uh, it's not a shot I want to waste an AC-20 round on. By. So what I really should be doing here, I think, is on my way. shifting fire. So or shifting the lance over to the right uh, to engage the vehicles. So main shot the PPC on that. Secondary shot on that. Switch that to B. Don't know why it's still low chance to hit, but whatever. Engaging multiple targets. Okay. PPC solid hit. No LRMs hit on the prowler, of course. Negative damage. Repeat. It's a javelin Negative tank damage. cosplay, yeah. <laughs> Kerry Katona, Christ, there's there's a bit of a fucking up and down. Uh, <clears throat> bit of a uh, bit of a bag that one, isn't it? Emotionally. For a second, I thought he was going to go for the melee. I thought that the Hermes, it would do it because why wouldn't it, eh? Oh, here come the SRMs. It's not going to be pretty. I can just jump it away. Damage minimal. Next activation. What are your orders? Right, trigger. Ten four. Right, let's get trig. So that's not gonna work. That's less less chance. But, mm. Now let's see how you handle it. Okay, this. right. Well, we got rid of a vehicle. That's one less enemy f to activate. Reporting one less vehicle. <laughs> I go shopping at Iceland. Oh god, yeah, she was the spokesperson, spokeswoman for Iceland. So, and that who also doesn't know that fucking Essex sounding girl, is ditzy as fuck. I, I, I think she was off. Was it Big Brother or something? Is that where she she became famous? I honestly don't remember. Engaging target. Spray a bit machine gun for. Oh, apparently I machine gunned the head. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, it's it's <laughs> it's this brutal. Brutal jog uh, for the hunchy to get into into a good firing position, but when it does, I'm really hoping the AC-20 is going to make a lot of problems go away quickly. 
Good to go. Copy that. Philip of fuck.